Hi everyone, Chef Pazavella here. Welcome to the interview. And today I have Estelle on with us and Estelle has an amazing story and she, she's had basically this session, the session for 42 years and now we are celebrating the victory. And, uh, and in this interview, we're going to talk about her improvements as far as DP, anxiety, we're thinking, racing thoughts, this session, feeling the present, more, more confident and more assertive. So I Estelle and thank you for being here today. Hi, good morning. So let's start from the very beginning. So what was your situation before working together, before, um, before you booked the discovery call? Before I booked the discovery call, I had this ungodly pressure in my head to the point where it was affecting my eyesight. It was, it was so bad that I, there were times I went out in my garage and thought, how can I fix this? It would have been disastrous, but thank goodness I never tried that. <laughs> um, I have, I had fog. I mean, it was just like, it was like I was walking, but I was five steps behind myself trying to catch myself up and I could never do it. Um, the racing thoughts, they never stopped. It was constant. I would wake up in the middle of the night and my brain was just going, couldn't stop it. Um, and, I'm, I had anxiety. It, there were times when I would be sitting and talking to someone and they would mention something and this wave, it, it, was, it was so weird to experience this wave. It wasn't heat, but it was this wave that come through and just overtook me to the point where it was overwhelming. Yeah, so there were, there were many different issues, symptoms and uh, okay, so what had you tried to solve them? Because well, yeah, yeah I, I remember. Yeah, I remember when in the survey. Well, since yeah, yeah. it started 43 years ago, and there was there was nothing out there for me. I mean, there was you know everybody said you're depressed, you're depressed, you're depressed. Then it was they hit me with manic depressive. Then they hit me with bipolar. bipolar yeah. It was yeah. schizophrenia. They hit me with every label they could hit me with. Nobody <laughs> ever touched what was wrong with me. Um, I went through the medication route. Um, at one time, I was on 14 different medications. Um, I was a total zombie. I, you know, it was a mess. Um, psychiatrist, uh, I went through three 12 session rounds of ECT. Uh, you know, and that was that was horrid for me. That was just absolutely horrid. Um, I, I've been I've been through the gamut. I, I I had I had my brain checked. I had electrodes on my brain to see if I had a brain tumor. I did everything. If it's out there, I did it. <laughs> yeah, and that they take a lot of of like of determination. Most people give up after after a few months. They say, you know, this is like they they start giving up. Um, so okay. So you tried like basically medicine, then psycho uh, psychology, th psychiatry, psycho uh, psychotherapy. Um, then you said writing j journals of how you felt. Yes. Then so so any so biology, like every different field that you could touch. Um, and looking back, if you were to guess why they didn't work, what would be your guess as to why they didn't work? The, because the, they the never difference. touched on the mm. real problem. Mm. They never touched on, on the inner of my working, of how my, my brain was working, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I honestly, I didn't even know that was, that was something that was out there until I met you. Yeah. And so did you try also like body techniques such as like uh, breathing or like grounding or self-regulation or? Yoga, I tried, you know. I tried um, uh, just uh, uh, silent thinking, you know, sitting quiet and trying to ground myself that nothing worked, everything, nothing worked. I tried it all. I bought everything that was on the internet, you know, here, try this, this will help you calm your anxiety. You know, you pay for this big thing. It didn't work, nothing worked. Mm -hmm. So honestly, did you apply consistently, but it didn't work or you just, so how was it? Did you play till the end consistently? But it is still oh, didn't yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, I went to I went to a therapist for, you know, um, oh my gosh. I think I actually went to therapist on a regular basis for over 20 years. And mm -hmm. I mean, everybody says, I could help you. I know what's wrong with you. 
I can do this. Just journal. I have journals. I have journals, you know, like this, hmm. you know, that it's, and it's like, okay, write this letter to this person, write this letter to this person, do this, do that. I did it. It, uh, it didn't help. I mean, nothing, nothing helped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now, um, what made you decide to start to start work with me? Because then I, I remember, I, I think I sent you a friend request and then you yes. sent me a message, if I remember correctly. And then, okay, what, what, uh, like what made you book the call, the discovery call, and then say yes to start working with me? I don't, you know what? I was thinking about that and there, and I, it's hard because, you know, my, my memory back then is kind of like not the best, yeah. um, but you clicked somewhere in there that said this might just work give it a shot and see what happens i've tried everything else you know but you you clicked in there some and i i i can't i can't honestly say what the pinpoint was but something in there you know and and i, I looked at my husband and i you know my husband's going through a major health crisis and i said you know should i do this and he said, give it a try. So I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah as I remember the time you said, um, when, you, when you actually made the payment, you said, I'm trusting you a lot. So something like this. Yes, I did. Yeah, because I honestly, I didn't have that money. But I said, I'm, I'm trusting you. Because like I said, there was something that you touched that, that just, um, I don't know how to explain it. You, you, you did something that just, it turned it, and and it was like, this is good. This is going to work. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but I knew it was going to work. Yes. So I made it work, and you also made it work because you have been a very, very brave and very courageous. And most people are not going to to be, to be, to be brave, to be brave as you did because you have faced very, very painful feelings and uh, and and uh, trauma experiences. But then a few minutes into it and then gone. <laughs> my, That's the beauty of it. My very first session with you was, uh, um, it was amazing because like I said, I had this pressure in my head that was so bad and I can't even describe it to somebody. I honestly thought there was something in there pushing on my brain for that pressure to be that bad. And the very first session I had with you, that was gone. I mean, absolutely gone and it was like is this real is this i it's gone i i, I honestly I, I was i was totally amazed with that yeah so the, the i think the the most impactful sessions were the first one and the last one right yes 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 yes, yes. yeah yes. but but you know even in between you know the sessions we had and not just the sessions but I went and I watched your videos and I watched your other, you know, students and they're, they're speaking of, you know, what they've went through. I learned a lot about me through what they had to say. And I'm going to tell you, this is, this is not an easy process. This is a tough process. And you've got to realize you're going to find out some things about yourself. Mm. You might not like, and you <laughs> need to change. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, because I, I can see like the, the, the process. So this is how it works. I have the discovery call and people are like, yeah, like they're like, they have like this positive attitude, but they don't realize that the, the depth of the pain that they're, 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 that they're, that they're subconscious has eaten. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have nothing from I like my, <laughs> my child is great. I have nothing. And then we touch the right buttons and they just like dissolve in tears, like just to bang. And, and that's that's and that's exactly the the, the openness you could say, is like the the compensation, like it, it, it's as if the mind says, don't worry, have this adrenaline in you, have this like happiness, this forced positivity, or forgive your parents, forgive, 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 you have to forgive, forgive. But then when you look, when you flip around, I, you know what? I'm angry at you. There is like suppressed anger and hurt and whatever is it. And that's what people, are not, many people, are, well, unfortunately, are not, are not willing to face until they, they really, these things become an actual problem, not something internal. <clears throat> and uh, okay. Yeah, like I said, this is this is not going to be an easy process. If you don't, if you don't want to face what your demons inside are and what you're hiding, 
and what you need to, to work on, it's not going to work. You need to work on that. Yeah. So now I know that some people listen to the story. I know that being in their mind, they're, they're, they might be thinking, hmm, but your decision is not as bad, was not as bad as mine. And I, that's, why, that's why you're, you're going to stuck and that's why I can't. So they're just fine what they can do. So what would you say to these people? They are keeping I'm on just fine. You, you have not walked a mile in my shoes. And until you spent 43 years like a, what do I, how do I want to say it? A zombie? Then you don't know what I've been through. I have, I have been through, I, I basically have lost I know I was there, I, but I wasn't in the present, but I have basically lost 43 years that, you know, I, I, I can't get back because this was so bad. This was so impressing. I'll, I'll tell you, during this period at one time, I crawled in bed and I stayed there for two years. I did not get out of bed because I didn't know how to face life. If you think that's easy, I'm sorry, it's not. Yeah. So yeah, because there are many people, and I see it, I see it when on, on groups and forums when I sometimes I scroll through them. Uh, but it's the same victim mindsets of you know, mine mine is bad. So it's like a constant like swallowing in suffering. Okay, mine is bad. Okay, mine is more complex, mine is genetic. And it's just mm -hmm. just keeping on justifying and just never ends. Yeah. So uh, but no, it's, I mean, it's, it, and I, I've read the same thing. I was on a lot of forums too at one time. Um, and I've read the same thing. Mine is, mine is worse than yours. And it's like, how, how can you say that? You have no idea. You know, you don't know me. You haven't been through me, but I know what you're going through. I feel bad for you, you know, but you can, you can overcome this. I did. Yeah. So I have a question from, uh, I asked on the, on the, on the Facebook, uh, if people could ask you some questions and then there was a student of mine that asked you this question, how did you manage to make it through the, uh, the position decision for so long? And now we were able to leave the past traumas behind and move forward from them. What, what, what would you say to, to people that are asking like, uh, how really well, did, did you do this? Well, to be honest, when, when this happened to me 43 years ago, um, it, it was, it was like I woke up and it was, I had this fog and it just, it lasted for about an hour. And I thought, well, what is that? And then the next day it was a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit every day. It was a little bit longer until I didn't even realize it had taken over my life 24 seven. But at that time I had three children. I had a marriage. I had to work. I had to, I had to go on with life. You can't just hide in a, in a hole and say, I, I can't face this. This is too much for me. I can't do it. I had to work. I had to, I had to take care of my children. I marched through every day. I got up and just did what I had to do. Um, and how I left it behind, I left it behind because I found out that hiding in my mind did not help me at all. And that's what basically I was doing. I was hiding in this spot that I made a safe space for me. And I was hiding in there and I needed to open that up and find out that there's more to life than what's hidden in there. I, I, need, I, I needed to feel, I have not felt in, I don't know how long, you know, I haven't, I haven't felt real uh, tears. I mean, I cry, but I haven't felt it. I, I haven't felt real happiness. I can laugh, but I haven't felt it. You know, and like every other emotion, fear, I had it, I felt you know, it was there, but I really haven't felt it. And until you want to actually feel those things real time and not hide whatever you're hiding, you're gonna stay where you are. Right, excellent advice. Yeah, um, yeah that, that, that's, that's exactly one, one of the advice that I give, which is, which is, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure, or, is it, or, or you just say because I want to improve just because it makes sense and just because logically you don't want the problem. So you, logically you say, I want the opposite, which is freedom. 
But I will show you one day, because like, we are more scared, at times we are more scared of freedom than we are scared of, of, of ruining where we are. It's, it's scary. It's scary out there. You know, it really is. But, you know, if you want to retreat and hide near and stay there, you know, I, I feel bad for you. I'm, I'm, you know, I am so more grounded right now than I have been in so, so many years. And I love this. You know, my big goal was I want to go outside. I want to feel sunshine on my face. Okay, I can go outside. I can feel the heat on my face. I know it's there. But I want that intensity of knowing that that sunshine's on my face. I did that yesterday. That was amazing to me. Amazing. Excellent. So what's very, uh, what, what breakthroughs did, in, in, did you see in, the, in our collaboration? And, 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 and the things out, you learned, uh, just like a video, follow me in videos and posts. I found out a lot about myself. Um, I found out that I use, um, I use like, I, I, I'll use illnesses to, to um, get attention. You know, so that's, you use that's the hard. So you use uh, illnesses, illnesses, you know, oh, yeah, to yeah. get attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, that's hard. That's hard to admit that, <laughs> okay, yes, I do have some issues. Um, but then I will, I will push them. I'll push the boundaries to try to get attention out of them, you know, because I didn't feel like I was getting the attention I needed. Yeah. So I use them to get intention, uh, attention. Um, I would put myself at the center of attention just to get attention to, you know, um, and then I, I, I also needed, um, uh, how do I want to say this? Uh, I, I would look at people and instead of seeing the 99% good in people, I would yeah. see the 1% bad and I would dwell on that 1% bad. And it was like, after I realized I've been doing that, I went, why, why would I do something so dumb? Why, you know, that, there's 90%, 99% good in that person, you know, but I would dwell on the bad. I, I don't know why, maybe because I felt so bad that I wanted them to be as bad as I felt, you know, um, when someone says something negative, you know, I don't care what it is. It could be a post on social media. It could be something, somebody walks by and I don't even know them and they say something negative automatically. It was about me. It's me. They're talking about me. You know, woe is me. And I mean, uh, it, the, these are just things I learned about myself that are tough. They're tough, but I, I'm facing them. Yep, exactly. So, what 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 uh, what are the teachings that that you learned that you remember the most and that you found the the most helpful? Well, your your sessions that I went through um, were the most helpful. I think one, one, two, three, and the last one were the most beneficial but yeah. then you were talk talking to a young man and i don't know i think he was from germany maybe i'm yeah, not oh sure yeah yeah we, yeah yeah, yeah. Anyway, we'd look, 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 look yeah when he was talking it was like oh my he's talking about me this is me me <laughs> because i seen so much of myself in what he was saying you know, and then when in reading your, 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 um, your blogs on, you know, how to help yourself, um, I, there were things that I read and it was like, ah, right. He just wrote that about me. How did he figure that out about me? Because it, it just touched so much of how I felt and what was going on within me. Yeah. <clears throat> and one of the things was the was recreating the symptoms and the issues so that you get the benefit at the end, which is attention, empathy, or like, you don't understand me. I'm more complex than you. I'm more unique than you. And so you indirectly get the benefit of I'm unique or whatever. So you see how much of this suffering, because <laughs> sometimes I laugh at it. So, because we have, we have problems like, when we actually distill the, 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 how it's done, it's empty. It's like an empty, an empty suffering it looks real we feel real but when we actually have the the whole understanding of it it's like 
what the hell? It's like a, when you kind of distill the engineering of the problem, it's like, was I suffering about this? Yes. And this is why I say to people like, I explain this not so much to explain it, um, but to, to really be more humble in, in I have control. I know the answers. Like just, just be like. Yeah, that, that need go. for control is so overwhelming that you will, you will create scenarios and Scenario. issues within yourself to, to make it right for you. Right. Whether it's right, if, yeah. whether it's true or not, you're going to make it right for you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's the mind. It's the mind's need to to give you an answer to fill to fill mm -hmm. up the, to fill up the hole. Right. You mm -hmm. don't. Have, there is a question mark. No. Fill it up with this answer. That, that's why. That's why. Yep. That's why. And an example yep. that I give in the, in the program is is like for example, let's say that I'm single, which I am now, and let's say that I feel yesterday I felt five minutes unhappy, just five minutes unhappy. And then let's say that I walk down the street and I see a couple and they are happy. And the doubt in me is that the doubt that I have is I feel unhappy because I'm single. And the mind, as soon as, as, soon as, you, as, as, soon as the mind sees the couple, it thinks, okay, that's why, that's why you're, you're, you're unhappy because you need to be in a relationship. And so yep. the, you, then you start creating the, the story. Okay, I'm unhappy because I'm in a relationship. Therefore, and now you have the, the you force yourself to be, to have a partner, but, and, and the, 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 the natural, the natural, the nature and, 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 and spontane, no, the spontaneity gets lost because now you have to achieve a goal. Right. Like this this right. person now becomes a goal, a target in your mind. I have to achieve this partner because then I can feel happy. But the problem is that that doesn't solve anything because now the, top, the mind is achieved target and then you feel even more unhappy because you feel even more frustrated. It's like people that are very rock stars. Um, and I, I learned this from a mentor. Um, like rock because she has to work with the rock star, uh, like very celebrities. And she says that at, at first they felt they felt very small, and then they think, okay, I know I'm go I'm going to be liked. I have to I have to to be the number one. If I'm the number one, then people will like me. Then they have, they get to number one, and they're like, holy shit! Now there are still people that don't like me, and so now you have the frustration plus all those years that you wasted chasing an illusion. And you feel even worse. Yep. Oh, it's like the same with money. Like at first you earn money, then you're like, okay, I know how, I know how I'm going to be happy with money. Then you have money, and now the fear is, I fear I'm going to lose money, so you have to get more of it. So it's, it, it never ends. So that's why. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's like chasing the dragon. You know, <laughs> you're never going to catch that dragon. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. You're always going to, you're always going to uh, go for more and more and more and more. And a lot of that more and more is false promises. Yeah. Yeah. In your mind, yeah. you're going to promise yourself you're going to get there. And it's a false promise. Yeah. You know? Yes. And that's one, that's one of the, the drivers of, um, the, of overthinking um, and this constant like dissatisfaction and happiness because you're creating a problem out of, out, of not, out of like, it's like dust, but you're making a problem out of dust, basically. Uh, but yeah, that's like, uh, that, that's why I find uh, when you see, when you can see the funny side to suffering and you, see, you can really see for like, uh, for what it is, it's like, it becomes fun. Cause like, we, it's th like th what the shit was that all about? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like, was that, was that something I was really that intense about? And it's like, really? Is that it? That's it. That's what I was so intense about, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. So, what was the most transformational part of working together? Like the aha moments that you had in the hour sessions. The, the racing thoughts. I my my mind never shut down. I would wake up in the middle of the night, and my I, I mean, I would just it, my brain would be going about scenarios that happened whenever years ago, and I would be going over that in my mind, trying to trying to figure out an answer or trying to figure out a, a solution. And I couldn't shut them off. I just couldn't shut them off. And you helped me shut them off. And it's like now, you know, I start and it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go do something else. You know, it's, it's, they're just not, they're not that important anymore. They're not there, I don't need them. I don't need, I don't need to find an answer to every, 
problem because I'm never going to. Yeah. There's not an answer to every solution. Sometimes you just got to say, no, oh, what the hell, move on. Yeah. Yeah. So from your perspective, what did you find unique about me that is different from most therapists, coaches, or YouTubers, or, or other experts in the field? You went and found the real issue that I was dealing with through our sessions, you went down deep and you found where it hit. And when you did that, the very, very first session, when I got off the computer with you, it was like, holy crap. I did not realize it went that far back and that that was the big aha moment for me. Um, and, and that opened up doors that I never thought were able to be opened up. And, and, and I, I mean, you, I don't, honestly, I don't know how you found that, but you found it. You found, you found my Achilles heel. You found my spot and, and you worked on that spot and you brought it out into the open to where now it's like, okay, I can deal. This is it. Yeah. <clears throat> and no one had ever, has ever, had ever, had ever, had ever done that before. No, never. I mean, there, I mean, uh, I, I'll be honest. A lot of my issues were with my communication with my mother. Um, oh, yeah, my yeah, mother yeah. was, um, my mother was not kind to me, you oh, know, yeah. and I, I don't know if it was, you know, uh, um, I was the youngest child at, for 12 years um, and I was the youngest girl and I have, a, I have a feeling it was because my aunt loved me totally. I mean, I was almost her world and I don't think my mom could handle that. My mom could not handle that. So she was taking that out on me is what I have found in myself. Um, and I mean, it was, it was abusive at times. She was, she was abusive to me at times. Um, and you brought me back to that and made me realize this was not my fault. I, you know, this was my mom's fault. My mom, my mom has to put this on her shoulders and, um, I'd let it go. I, 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 I didn't realize that I hadn't let it go for 43 years, but I have, I have now, I have let it go. You know, my mom, my mom is now gone. Um, but you know, with it, uh, with your help in the therapy, um, I have realized that I can live without all these inner demons that I thought that I had because of my mom. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the last session that we did was, I was, I was I, you couldn't see me because, because you had your eyes open, but I was about to cry. Usually, usually I never cry in a session because I have to keep like, to be more like focused on you, not, not on me. Uh, but I was about to cry because the sheer amount of like sadness and hurt there was just, it's just, was just mind blowing. It was just like, well, there was, there was one, I remember, um, when I was young, um, I was in my bedroom with some friends and my mom come in and I, I had what they call a junk drawer. That's what all my toys and all my junk was in. I didn't think it was a problem having a junk drawer, but apparently with my mom, it was. You know, and she brought a broom in the bedroom with her and she just started whacking me. And I, I curled up, I curled up in a little ball and hid inside myself. And this is where I created that safe space in my head. Yes. Because I curled up in there. Even though I was getting the blows, I, I, could, I could be all right as long as I had that safe yeah. space in my head. Yes. But through your therapy and, and working through that, in the end, I seen that exact same scenario, but I rose up, I sat on the end of the bed, edge of the bed, and I thought, I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need that hiding place anymore. I'm okay. Yes. Yeah, there, there, was, there was a lot there. There was a lot yeah. of like stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, uh, but now you're, and then, and then I remember that in the session, the last session, you, you, 
I told you, to, I told you to, to, to look at the memory and to say, it's not me anymore. And you're like, I already feel it. I, I already see myself like standing tall, something like this. Yeah. I, I felt, I felt, I, I mean, I felt the change of that, that whimpering little girl that was laying on that bed, taking those blows to where I sat up on the edge of the bed and I was okay. It was okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I can do this. Yes. So we did, you, you did, you did the transformation before I told you to do it. So like, uh, uh, and that's where, where the, your will come, comes in. Cause just my work and my expertise is just like, uh, doesn't do anything. There needs to be a strong will and a strong motivation to face this. Um, and I always you say this. To, you have got to want this. If you don't yeah, want yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yes. it's not going to work. It, you will fail. If you're not willing to put the work in and if you're not willing to look in that mirror and see you and find out who you are, it ain't, it's not going to work. I'm going to tell you that right now. You have to face the ugly truth of what's out there about yourself and about others. Yeah. And then facing it for a few hours or whatever it needs to face for a few minutes, whatever it is, and then you're free of it. But people, we, 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 can't, we keep on compensating or protecting those few minutes of, of facing reality. Like how, how many times like, um, I see people like, um, I, I do the sessions, not now, but before, before um, and they're like, we, we are touching the right spots because I know that they're there and they start to intellectualize. No, no, don't worry, I don't feel angry because my parents are nice and they keep justifying, intellectualize. I'm like, nope, go back in the feeling. You are, I know that you're feeling angry right now. No, I don't feel angry, no, no. I feel, uh, no, and they keep and just go back and forth. And that's, to me, that jumping there is the indicator that they, it's not they don't want it, but they don't have the, 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 the courage and they need to have more courage to face that. And without that, all my expertise is like, it all, all, it's all, you could say, nah, in a way, it's wasted. I, I can give you all, everything, but if you don't right. make the jump from protection to f the real feeling and the real sadness, the real hurt, it's not going to work on us. <laughs> right, right. If you, if you don't want to do that back and forth dialogue that, you, that needs to be done to find out what the real, the real truth is, you're not going to find it. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So now you you've been in, in this um, with with these issues for many many years. So I guess I know that you you've worked with many people, many therapists, coaches, uh, YouTubers, or experts in the field. So what would you say is the difference between me and them? You know, like the, the, what is the unique point that that help you the most? Because uh, I'm I'm curious to know like what I can improve too. It, you when when you do your um how, how do i want to say it when you do your uh <laughs> I, I don't know if i'm okay do you want me do you want me to give away what you do oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay when you do your deep basically hypnosis yeah. on me on me yes. when you did that um and and you took me back no one ever did that before. No, I mean, it was just skim the surface. Yeah, your mom, write a letter to your mom. Mm. Tell your mom how you feel. Okay, yeah. I can write that dang letter. I wrote many letters. I got a whole file full of letters to my mom, you know? But until your deep hypnosis that I went through and you put me in that situation and walked me through that situation, talked me through that situation and then got me to talk to my mom through that situation and she talked back to me through that situation this is going to sound crazy i know it does i'm sorry but it does but you put me there you brought me out of that situation by what you do yeah so facing 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 reality not the yep. artificial creation in your mind that you think is reality but reality 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 um okay the infamous question how do you feel now oh my gosh <laughs> i am you know i haven't had a good night's sleep i sleep i can sleep and i have you know 
But when I wake up and I'm so tired that it was like, why did I even, why did I even go to sleep last night? What was the point? Yeah. Because the whole day I was just so tired and it was just, I don't know if my brain just didn't shut off when I slept or not. But since your last session with me, I have woke up and it's like, I have no, I'm not tired anymore. I don't have that. I don't have that um, overshadowing, you know, drowsy. Lethargy. Yeah. Lethargy too? Lethargy. Lethargy. Too? Lethargic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lethargic. Yes. Uh, yeah. I don't have that now. You know, I am more grounded. Um, I, I can, you know, it used to be I would, I, I, I would fight. I mean, I don't care if there was a piece of thing on the floor, you know, and my husband said, that's not on the floor. I would fight with him, you know, and it wouldn't stop. And he would say, stop, 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 you know, and I couldn't, I didn't know how, I didn't know how to shut it off. Um, now I'm the one that if we start into anything, I'll say, stop, just, it, just let it go. Forget it. It's not worth it. You know, that was not me because I would be the one that would be mew, 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 like a dog right after that bone. Um, and now it's just as easy to, it's just, I just say, stop, let's move on. It's not worth it. It's not worth yeah. the argument, it's not worth the fight. Um, I don't have the racing thoughts anymore, like I said. Um, I, I, I am ni I'm 98% here. I have a little bit of the fog. I got to work on that. I mean, after all, it's been 43 years. You know, I didn't expect it to be 100% right away, but I'm working on it. I, I, can, I can touch something and I can feel it's real. Before, if I touched something, it was like, okay, is, is this real? You know, now I know it's real, you know, and, uh, um, the, the, like I said, the pressure in my head is gone. Um, the flush of anxiety. Yeah. I don't have that flush anymore, you know, yeah. of anxiety that would come over my body and just envelop me. I don't have that anymore. Yeah. And let, let's, put, let's, um, let's remember the context here. It, we did a total of, of nine sessions. Um, I had, I had uh, so yeah, uh, nine session total. And... Uh, I had the intuition, uh, before our last session, I had an intuition, um, but if I had had the intuition before, all of this, would, I, would, you would have done the same transformation in, in even three or four sessions. It's just that I had, I had, uh, I had, had like a, a retarded intuition at the end. So it, it, this would have been over even sooner. But you know, sometimes I, I make mistakes, so that's okay. But at the end of the day, we, not, we made it. Not just that, I was a tough nut to crack. I mean, I really was. I was a tough nut to crack. I, I you know, I, like I said, I did my homework. I read everything. I, I watched your videos. I, you know, and, but, you know, I, I was still holding on to that little bit of that safe spot until I was ready to let that completely go. Then well, I was free. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so what can you do now? So both the feeling inside and the, the actual actions or, or behaviors or, or, or things that you can do um, in your life now that, you, that were harder to do before. I don't know, like in relation to your goals or focusing or, or, or being calm. I'm, 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 I'm going to work on, on communication with my husband a lot better yeah, yeah, um, yes. where it wasn't before before I would just snap, shut him down or snap at him. And so I need, I'm, I'm working on that. Um, and, and like I said, my husband's not well, you know, so, but I, I'm, I'm going to work on that. That's, that's a tough one. That's, you know, because I, I've not been the kindest of people and I need to, I need to redo this. Yeah. So you're, you're already in the right path, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, Okay. Okay. So looking back at, at how you were before, like you remember the, the, the discovery call that we did and now what would you say are the, are the, the differences between you now and you back then? I'm calmer. Yeah. I'm more grounded. 
Um, I'm more real. I don't need that control that I thought I had to have. Yeah. Um, I, I was I was an overachiever. I was I always sought out attention. I, if I would if I would you know if if I would do something, I would always have to have that. Uh, what is the word I'm searching for? Mm -hmm. Clarification or whatever that I did it right, and I would mm -hmm. I would ask for it. I don't need that anymore. I do what I do now. Yeah. Excellent. I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm doing something, you know, right. If I'm satisfied within myself and if I love myself, which I do now, um, I, don't, I don't need clarification from somebody else. Yeah. And to here, I want to I want to give this message that because you, you've touched a, a note that I can I can expand on, like this. I'm going to briefly explain because I I like to to, to 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 explain this. So let me see here. Okay. So you know the visual drawings here. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is what is the real problem. Yep. This is the mind, and yep. this is what we think is the problem. So real problem, fake problem, mind. So the mind is very, very smart. So the mind says, okay, you've been abused in childhood, okay. Now don't look at those memories. Don't look at those, those that hurt. Don't look at those memories because they are very painful. So, you, and you, but you feel very powerless. Don't look at that because that's very painful. Look at this, how you can control people. How right. you can, how we can rebel to, to people. How you can rebel to authority. This is something they used to do. How you can rebel to authority. How can you find the, 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 the little negative thing that you can you can touch in people so that you think you have control over them all all this uh, stuff or control like the thoughts or trying to have an answer as to why the universe exists give yourself the answer of like why the universe you know all this like having the answer so the mind says okay if you control this i'm going to give you the control that you've never had that you were denied or that you ne that you didn't feel when you were being abused or traumatized or whatever it was so the mind projects the problem yeah. so that, that's why and that's why what we, what we think is the problem most of the time it's not the problem otherwise i wouldn't be doing what i do um and that's why and this takes courage this, this to face this this real thing takes courage to face this like we it's like it's um uh, it doesn't work so it, that's why it doesn't take it doesn't take you anybody can face the 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 unreal uh, you know <laughs> And, and the fake, you know, it, it takes, it takes, it takes some courage to face the real thing and, and get through it. Yeah. <clears throat> so for example, I had a session, I'm not going to share the details, of course, cause this is private, but generally I had a session where this person, like the, he, the there was a very traumatic experience they, they he was having. And, um, and he said, uh, and he felt powerless in that experience. Basically he was being abused and, uh, and he was, he was powerless. Um, and then that situation is the pattern, the, the protection of the mind started, which is, I feel parts now, and the protection is, I promise myself that I'm never going to be powerless anymore. Now I'm going to control everything. Every time people order me something, fuck them, I'm going to disobey because I have control. And that's where the issues with the relationship start with like, for example, with fighting or like uh, arguing or like, um, um, and then you think that the problem is that this person, this partner that you have now, they, they are the problem because they don't listen to you. The problem is that trauma experience where you, that probably started to begin with. So you see how, how different the, what you think is yeah. wrong from what, what is actually wrong is. And that, that's where people don't understand. And they're like, um, keep on replaying the, the control and thoughts there. Um, and they think that if they explore the thoughts till the end, they're going to get an answer that is going to satisfy them. But the answer is, their question is, why do you need, even need control to begin with? Right, right, uh, right. The power, the power struggles within your mind. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and you can't, you cannot, you cannot and will never control every situation, you know? And you've got to learn that not every situation is something you can control. I don't care if, you know, you, you can, you can think about it and you can go it through your brain and 
and figure it out. And, oh yeah, I know the answer. I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix it. Eh, no, you're not. Yeah, I mean, no, you're just deal with the situation right then and there. Be done with it, wash it out and be and, and go on. So how do you see your future now and what do you look forward to? What, what do you most look forward to? What are you most looking forward to? What are you, look, what do, what are you most looking forward to? What am I most looking forward to? Um, geez, I'm looking forward to just being present in my own life, in my own skin, being happy in my own skin and, and, and enjoying being me and not having to have this validation from other people that I, I thought I needed. I, I'm loving me. Yeah. So, do, so mo now it's more about so, um, solidifying this. Because now the internal, the internal change is there. Now it's more about you know, solidifying it in, and uh, spreading it in the different aspects of your life. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I, like, like, like I'd said, you know, right now it's, I, I'm going through a, a, a tough thing with my husband because he's sick. Um, and we've got some challenges up ahead, you know, and I, I've been, honestly, I've been dreading these challenges because they're, they're, they're very tedious. Um, but now it's like, no, no, I'm going to take it. I'm going to deal with it. I know I have to deal with it and it's gonna, I'm gonna be good. It's gonna come out good. I know it will. Yeah. Um, now, looking back, what, uh, looking back at, at before when we, when we were having this cover call, what would have happened if you, if you didn't, if, if you didn't work with, if you, if you didn't start, if you would have listened to that voice that said, ah, bah, and you didn't start, what would have happened in your opinion? What would have happened? I would have still been in this false reality, this, I mean, I would just, I wouldn't be living life. I would be just uh, uh, the fake person that I really put up to be, you know? Uh, I, 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 it, it's, it's so hard, you know, because I've, I've lived this for so long that, it, and it, it's, it just seems so weird that it was so much easier to let go than what I thought, you know? It really was easier to let go than what I thought. Um, and I just, I want to walk into each situation that I have coming and take whatever it brings at me, whether it's hurt, whether it's pain, whether it's, um, you know, not everybody's going to accept me, which I couldn't accept that before. You know, yeah, I couldn't, I, they had to accept me. I would go out of my way to make them try to accept me, yeah. you know? Now yeah. they don't, hey, there's nothing I can do about it. That's on them, you know, I'm, I'm me. So now a message, a message to, to all the people out there, because I know that there are people who've had this like for five years, 10 years, 30 years, a month ago. Um, so what would be your like, um, message for these people that are struggling with this and they just like i either they're like mm, i'm going to the next month or next year it's going to get better i'm going to accept it until it get better and it gets better like what, what, what is your message for these people and all the people that are in are still in groups and forums that wandering and in groups and forums and trying to look for attention and fishing for can you, oh, I've suffered more than you. No, no, my symptoms are more complex than you. No, my, <laughs> just like fighting like kids oh, and fighting in kids and like swallowing in this, in this suffering state. So what would you say to these people? What, is, what would be your message now that you've gotten to, to get aside? What would you say to the people? Take a chance. Take a chance to find out the real you, the real problem, and get on with your life because you too can fix this. If I can fix this, you can fix this. And trust me, I was a doubting Thomas. I wasn't sure, but I am 100% sure in this process. It works. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. And you've been, um, you've been very proactive and most people are not willing to be proactive. They, it's like, 
this this work like the, the the situation like in in groups and forums it's either people fishing and hunting for attention or like comparing themselves like who is suffering more so that you can indirectly get the benefit of I, I, at least there's something that is suffering more than there is suffering more than me so i feel bad i feel good about myself <clears throat> or uh, being understood and then what else it's very based on problems and negativity and suffering isn't it like in these groups and the problems and the suffering and yeah yeah it's you know what I, they kind they feed off each other they feed off each other's um um negative they feed off each other's fear they feed off, off of each other's illness you know and I, I since i've started with you um I, I only i have one group and i'm gonna leave that group um because uh i've watched them you know uh, just feed off of other people's negativity and their fear and their illness and and it's like that's not yours why are you accepting somebody else's crap deal with your crap don't deal with somebody else's yeah and then <laughs> and then they give them a solution because uh, and then they give them a solution yeah. like yeah mm, let me go back and post in the forum so th th this is something I'm going to, to, to give like the behind the scenes, like, so it's, it's so cool, it's like, so funny. Uh, so for example, I might add some people, like some new people every day on a, from Facebook groups and I might send them the message. Hey, this is what I do. I can help you with the station, blah, blah. And though most people just ignore me and they don't reply. Then just randomly, I scroll through a group to, to be, to see what they're doing. And I just remember that this person that I sent the message, the message to, a month later, they are still posting in the same group. I, uh, oh, my, my dissertation today is very bad. Or like so something like this. I'm like, I just sent you the fucking message. Reply to the message. There is someone that can help you. Just, you know, start the conversation. But they have all the time to, 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 to swallow in that, in that like, uh, in the, there. So you see like- They wanna dwell on, they wanna dwell on whatever they're living with, whatever, cesspool they're in you know instead of trying to flush it and get rid of it you know and fix it you know i think i think sometimes some people like that oh, that's oh, how yeah. they oh, yeah. get oh. along in life is yeah. because they like that they they like that attention and they like that negativity and they also like to live where they're living and, and mm -hmm. i don't understand that i don't i don't get how you want to be sick I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the dark pleasure of, of suffering. Like, you know, there is an, there's an assessment identification with that. Um, yeah. So that, that, that's what I always say. It's just because you say you want to improve. It doesn't mean that you actually, that you actually do it in practice. It's very, very different. It's very different. It's two worlds apart. Right. And that's something you say in the very, very beginning that you, and you ask questions and you know, you try to figure out if somebody's really wanting to do this or if this is just something that they're living with, you know, you know, and I, I, I can see, and I, you know, read, like I said, I've read a lot of your stuff. Um, I can see where you want to work with people that want help. You don't want to work with people that want to live in that cesspool that they built for themselves. Yeah. Absolutely. That's absolutely. a big difference. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no suffering, no negative. Cause <clears throat> I've, uh, I've been through the negative and this like dark, uh, blah, 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 whatever it is in my family. And I know very well what it looks like. And it's like a, a subtle social, it's like a subtle transference of negativity from, from person or other. And you slightly, but you inevitably, slowly, but inevitably they like, you, it's like, for example, let's say that I have, a, I have like this problem and my head hurts, uh, it hurts. And then I say to you, my head hurts. Um, I, I just say H, H's, A, H's, and H, whatever it is. And then you're like, okay, oh, poor you. And so just that, that poor you, my mind starts forming the conclusion, mm -hmm. me having a problem equals you being happy. Right. And when the mind forms the conclusion, you want to do more, and it becomes the addiction of suffering. You want to do more, 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 and now subconsciously the mind is hanging on to this problem because indirectly you get the benefit, which is acceptance, empathy, understanding, 
And if you're exactly. not, yeah. And if you're not finding another way to fulfill this, to fulfill these needs, and the mind only knows this, 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 this ways, of course you're going to keep recreating the problems and, and keep on suffering. That, that's just that's what the mind does. That, that's the, the algorithm of the mind. And it's very. It's and very, I think with some people they like that attention. They yeah. like that attention, and that's how they thrive is on that attention. And what 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 is your number one piece of advice for people that? Are in the same in the same situation that you were in. What what would be the, your the the piece of advice or the, the information that you you would like to know before, or that you won't want to give to people that they are still stuck. The, oh goodness, um, there's so many things. Um, it, you can feel real again. You can feel real again, and you do not need to live in this bubble that you have put yourself in. You can get out of that bubble and you can go on and, and, and have a happy life without all this false security you have built for yourself. Yeah. So th this is more like the inspiration. What about the specific, what, what, what can they start doing right now? For example, facing fears or, or something like this. Well, what can they start doing right now? Can they? I, I'm. What do you mean? Stop doing right now? Hey, sorry, sorry. What they can they can start doing right now in their life? Well, first they can contact you and figure and and set up a a, a you know a, the first introduction to just listen to what you have to say. If nothing more, just listen. It costs nothing for your first session to listen to what you have to say. If you don't like it, okay, move on. But try it. Try and see if you like what you have to say. Yeah, yeah, because um, yeah, I like to 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 say this like um, which is if you notice like most like uh, experts or you even you because there are many there are some a few five six YouTubers that are in this field too, and the the the, the common denominator is like the the it's very short recycled advice like for example breathe better meditate think positive um uh, take this medicine or the supplement um so it's, if, if you notice it's, it's a it's a eat very better advice. eat differently it's in your gut it's not in your head i've heard that one yeah yeah and many people are, are not willing to 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 listen to a 20 minutes video where i explain okay this is how it works. Stay to the end, I'm going to explain it works. And most people are not going to do that. They look at the video and like, mm, ah, 20 minutes, oh, fuck. Let me go into a, 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 a shorter video when they, at least there is a nice background music and at least I feel some emotions of empathy and I connect with this person. I'm like, I just give, I'm just giving a solution. I don't give a shit about the, the empathy or I'm understood, poor you. I'm giving a solution, it's here. Right. So, so this is like a, a change that, that um, that people need to make um, if they want to change. Otherwise, they can. I have they to can be honest with you. I never really sought out anybody like on YouTube, you know, to, to try to see about this, you know, before. Um, I, I just that what I just thought this is why I had to live. This mm. this is just what I thought I had to live this way, you know, um, in, until I gave you a chance. So is there anything, we are moving on now with the conclusion, is there anything you'd like to say to me that you'd like to share with the audience too? You, you are amazing. I mean, you listen and not do you just not listen, but you put yourself into what you have to say to me and into my situations. You, you figure out what I need. You, I mean, you're, you're just, you're just too human for words. Thank you. And I can't thank you enough for what you've done for me. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want to cry, but I'm too late. No, it's, it's, okay. happened. Okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. happened. It's happened. No, I, I, I cried. I cried the other, uh, after the session. Um, I cried too. That's okay. It's it's part of. It's okay. 
I don't know. I don't know how you do what you do. I don't. I don't yeah, know how you I do what you know. do. With, I mean, with, either. With, <laughs> you no, know, you have you have to do this with an open mind and an open heart because oh, yeah. you oh, listen yeah. to so yeah. much garbage that oh. you know <laughs> yeah. people go through, and I know just from my garbage that I had to deal with. You know that, um, and you listen to it, and you listen to it with an open heart. Yeah, takes a lot of uh, uh, takes a lot of like of strength. Um, and, 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 and elegance of, 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 uh, of, of being both logical, emotional, creative, intuitive, or switching between like, uh, then understand there, there are many, many, um, back and forth to do. And it's very, I mean, I've dedicated my life to this. I, I started when I was, when I was 15 and, uh, and from that moment on, I said, I'm, I'm done with the, I'm done with this, like a uh, suffering. I'm done. I'm done with like, and I want to teach people to be free, not to give them a coping technique. I want, the, I want to give freedom. And that's just I, it. A lot I don't of people give a shit. Give you yeah. And I don't, I, honestly, I didn't even care if I made money. I didn't, I just wanted to just take, take, take. I don't give a shit if I make money. Take, take. And in, in fact, sometimes when I have the call, when, when I have the score calls, I say people, I, I'm, when people are about, are about to pay me, I'm like, why do you have to pay me? You have, to, you have so many views on YouTube. Why do you have to pay me? <laughs> um, yeah, you, you, you. I mean, you. Uh, it, it's you. You just you put yourself into it, and that you know, like I, like I said, I've been to many psychiatrists. I you know, I, I, over and over and over and over. And you go in, you sit down. It's clinical, big deal. You, you go home, they give you a pill. Take this, you know. And it's just a vicious cycle of take this pill and do this. I'm not saying anything bad about medical um, uh, medicine. You know, people need, some people need that medicine, you know, and for 14 years, I mean, uh, for many years, I was on 14 different medicines, you know, and back about five years ago, I said, I've had enough of this. I can't deal with this anymore. I was taking uppers to wake up. I was taking downers to go to sleep. I was taking things to, to keep me at, you know, a, around during the day. And it was, it was crazy. It really was crazy. And at one time I did do something really stupid. I ended up in the hospital, you know, and it was just like, I've had enough of this. I can't do this anymore. And it took me two years and I don't recommend anybody do this. Please do not do this. I did it. Uh, it took me two years and I weaned myself off the medicine. I weaned myself away from the psychiatrist and, and then I took a break, but then I found you. Yeah. So I'm very, I'm very happy that, that we are celebrating the victory here and I'm exactly. sure it is going, it's going to inspire many people. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Just, yeah. just listen, just listen to the free introduction and see, see, you'll, you'll, you'll be amazed. That's all I can You'll be amazing. Thanks. Thank you. All right, then, okay, we're done. And uh, thank you for your time and for your interview and uh, you. for, for your motivation and your, your commitment in applying and in following all the instructions that I gave you and to be very detailed with that because that's very important. So thank you. Thank Stella. you for being you. That's all I thank can you. say. Thank, thank you for being you because without you, I wouldn't be right. And I am. Thank you. Thank you, Othel. And uh, so, see you. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye.